mind. You know, that is what boys do. Boys play with sand, boys jump on trees, boys play football. We already know that. So even with our fells in culture, we already, and, and I think even as we're trying to break the bias, let's not be too fluid because there's some things the creator created us. There's a reason why we are a certain shape. There's a reason why there's certain anatomy in us. There's a reason why women think women naturally flow as naturals. It's like animals. Even when you 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 they don't have the appearance with them, they the way a lion will behave. They the way an elephant will behave. There's some there's something you will give the lion, you will not eat it because it's a lion. And that is the same thing. We should not try to do or be as the man. There's beauty in uniqueness, and we should not apologize for that. You know, our breasts, our hips is for a reason. And the, you know what? I read somewhere. And Clara, I'm coming like you now. I read somewhere that the only organ in the body, in the both body that was created for pleasure, is the clitoris. Can you imagine? God created the clitoris purely for pleasure. The men have their organ for other things to do. They read, they pee. But the woman, God has created it there for pleasure. And there's a reason. If they all know her. There's a reason he says that we need women need that kind of pleasure. Maybe because of the madness we go through in the world. So when you have a good orgasm, everything becomes okay for you. So you can see God is so merciful. So Clara, can you wade into this conversation for us on your from the, the emotional um intelligence perspective? Let us you know learn. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saldat. Now we have balanced call. I said big, you said clitoris. We are even. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually, I was going to say something that, in fact, both uh, Priska uh, and Ibade and yourself, things are just about our realities. And I think we've said it over and over about roles, about things. It's just that um, maybe it's not, so Priska, you called it a physical build or something. We're not really that weak at physical. Physically, you would find women who have broad shoulders, who have muscles, and who have whatever. So essentially, it is our hormonal makeup, and then also the quantity is a biological thing, really. So let, let's let's not go too technical, but it's the hormonal makeup and the quantities or the extent that each person has been given those hormones. You would find some women who have a larger quantity of testosterone in them and they are still women because they have come out as women but then the the, the energy that they have to do things will be more than a, a woman who doesn't have as much testosterone so those such a woman would go ahead to do certain things that ordinarily would have been said it's a woman that would do or it's a man that would do so it's about again reality and accepting what the realities are and then walking around our realities. So that I won't be surprised to see a Malam that is a woman. It's, it's possible that we're going to see it at some point in our life, maybe not in our lifetime, but in the future. But that doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it um, whatever. It just makes it a, a case in, in time that we're going to all look at and appreciate because it's part of reality. It is reality. Reality is that thing that, that is, it's just there. You know, and we if we overthink it, we're going to start going into so many. Uh, it's just like the case of um, so when you come up, when you come to talk about men who now decide to be women or women who decide.